Hi everybody, it's Millie and you are here at Crafting in My PJs. I want to welcome you. If this is your first time here, hello. If you are a returning customer, then welcome back. Glad to see you. All right, so holidays are pretty much over. We have finished with Christmas. We have finished with Hanukkah. Um, I think we're finished with Kwanzaa. Any other holidays in this season? Oh, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. It's over with. Uh, this is January 2nd. Um, so, Happy New Year. All right. So, this week, my family, by the 6th, um, will start picking up our Christmas stuff. We wait until January 6th to start taking our Christmas decorations down. And I don't know about you, but there's a lot of stuff that doesn't necessarily get saved for the next year. And one of them is the Christmas cards. All right, so instead of throwing these beautiful cards away and filling up our landfills or even recycling bins, I thought maybe we could try and figure out some ways to repurpose our Christmas cards. So this first craft, there's gonna be three videos this week, three videos all on different ways that you can use, repurpose those Christmas cards. So today's video, we're gonna be making coasters. We're gonna be making coasters out of our Christmas cards. So I invite you to craft along with us. Um, if you have some Christmas cards, now somebody gave me some Christmas cards, so these aren't all my Christmas cards, but you'll see that when we get down to the table. Um, and I do receive a lot of photo Christmas cards. Um, this year, not as much, but I typically do receive a few photo cards. So we're gonna have maybe some different things you could do with those photo cards too. All right, enough talking. Let's get down to the table. All right, so here's our first project. Well, I don't know if it's our first, but it's a project using our Christmas cards. So these are the Christmas cards that I have from this year. They're actually not all mine because I don't get a whole lot of cards anymore. Um, but a friend gave me some of theirs. So combined with mine, I think we have enough to do some great crafts. All right, so what I want to do with cards first, my first thing I want to do is I want to make some... Um, coasters now the coasters can be used at christmas time so i'll have to put them away or i can try and pick generic pictures so that they can be used all year or i could use some of the photo christmas cards i get and put them on the coasters and then that would be a great keepsake but i only have a few photo photo Christmas cards that came in this year, so I'm not gonna pull from there. Um, in order to make these coasters, we're gonna use almost all of our products are from Dollar Tree. So we have the Crafter Square wood planks, and I can tell you, let's see, they are four and three quarter inches by four and three quarter inches. They're slightly large, slightly for a coaster but they'll work perfectly or if you happen to have some of these tiles like from home depot or lowe's those work really well as coasters too i only had one i used to have a whole stack but i don't know what i did with them so i only had one so we're not going to use the one we're just going to use the wooden ones um i also have a from the tool section of Dollar Tree, I have some felt pieces and we're gonna put those on the bottom. And then we're gonna back our squares with some paint. And this is Dollar Tree paint. And um, we're gonna paint this on as a base. And then we're gonna cover everything with some Mod Podge. Now, this particular container didn't come from Dollar Tree, but this one did. So for a dollar, this is matte though. So we're gonna glue it down with this, but then we're gonna come back and we're gonna seal it 
with two different things. We're going to try two different things. First, we're going to use the blue Mod Podge that says Brilliant One Coat Gloss Finish because I really do want a gloss finish. But the other thing is for other projects, I've just purchased this Triple Thick and it's supposed to be a thicker glaze. It's by Deco Art. You can get it at Michael's. Uh, you can get it on Amazon. I'll put links below. And so I think I'm going to do a couple with this and a couple with this and we'll see which one we like better and if there's any difference. So the first thing I need to do is knowing how big my coasters are and I'm not, oh wow, they're in a, a zip tie, uh, like a Ziploc bag maybe. That's kind of interesting. Why would they be in a Ziploc bag? That's interesting. Well, there you go with that. All right, so seeing how big the piece of wood is, let's pick out at least four images that we think will look good on here. So let's see. Um, my little snowman will fit pretty well. In fact, yep, I can cut out the circle and it'll do well. And then here's another snowman. I will do that one too. And here is um, a bird, like cardinals. That's really pretty and I could keep the bow, most of the bow in. So we might go with that. Now, should we, should we go with something Christmassy? Because those are all sort of generic, like a winter type thing. This is kind of cute, this fireplace. Let's do the fireplace. We can, we're going to cut the dog out so he's not in it. That is Christmassy. So, um, and then we can use the dog for something else. All right, so I think we have four. Four nice, nice images that we can use. Let's push them out of the way. All right, so the first thing we need to do is we need to paint our back green, our backing, our uh, wooden, our wooden pieces. So I am gonna paint all of these. I have already decided they're gonna be painted white. I wanted to keep it generic. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'll show you a little bit of painting um, so you can see how this white paint goes on. I'm looking for paintbrushes. They're all over there in the paintbrush holder. Hmm. But I think I have one that dropped on the floor. Yep. All right. So we have a, a foam brush. All right. So let's get going. We are going to paint front and back. Not that you're going to see the underside. Well, I don't know. Maybe we won't paint front and back. Maybe we'll just paint front and sides. And I have a reason for that. I'll tell you that. Number one, um, painting white, it's, it's not a real um, specific color. So it's not like it shows up and you go, oh. My gosh, you didn't paint that white. All right, so this is how the paint goes on, the Dollar Tree paint. We are only doing one coat. Looks really good. I'm gonna come back and we'll have everything painted for you. All right, so I did cut out one, two, three while I'm waiting for paint to dry. And the other thing I cut out was on the inside of the card, the uh, signature. And I figured we could put that on the back. So again, it's a memento to stay there forever. All right, so I'm going to cut out my last card um, for the last um, coaster <laughs> with you here. And it's the cute little snowman and snow lady. And um, try and now if you wanted to, you could collage these images on your uh, coaster or you could also do some way more decorating but remember if it is intended to be as a used coaster you want the the glass or the cup to be able to sit flush on there so it doesn't tip over um, 
but again, it's all up to you. All right, so let's see, is this still wet? Yep, it's still wet. All right, and that's gonna fit on there perfectly. All right, so I'm gonna put that one right there, and I'm actually cutting out, this one is uh, signed by the person who gave me the, some of these cards by their grandchildren, two little uh, five-year-olds. So I definitely want those signatures on the back because it's very representative and I probably would write on the back too. Um, so here's the, the set of twins. So uh, she has two grandchildren. All right, and so we will put those on the back and I will probably just write the date too. So because my friend gave me these and that was so sweet of her, I am probably going to make them and give to her. I'm probably not gonna keep them. So I have changed my mind since our initial video. Instead of using the Mod Podge to put it on, I have decided that instead I'm going to use this Scotch Create glue stick to put the initial picture and the signature on the back. And the reason I'm gonna do this is because this is not a wet glue, it's a stick glue, obviously, and uh, it won't wrinkle up my image too much. The male lady's here, she talks all the time. Okay, so we know she's here just by her talking outside. It's quite interesting. All right. So we are just waiting for the paint to dry. <laughs> so I might hit it with a heat gun or a blow dryer and see if I can dry it a little bit so that I can get my images glued on. But again, we're gonna use this Scotch Create. All right, I'll be back. I can back you up. There we go. All right, so this one's gonna fit right here. Uh, my stick glue works great. The only thing I noticed is I had to dry it kind of on the flat side and that could be because my paint wasn't really dry well enough oh does not have glue on the front all right so there's that one and that's from Sella and Nicholas and so what I did was I stacked them on the paper um, so that all my edges would dry down so there's that one and here's that one. I wanted to really make sure the tails and all went down. And then I took, uh, there were six of these in the bag and we only used four. So I took um, a blank one, put it on top and then put it under something and let it kind of dry with some pressure. Oh, there it is. It's my, yep, my words on the back. Okay, and so this is our last one. Our little, another Mr. and Mrs snowman All right. making sure I get glue all the way to the edge all right that's gonna go there now let's take we're gonna you see how it's popping up all right so I'm gonna put that on top and I took my triple thick because it was the heaviest and just put it on top and it gives it that pressure all right so let's look at our ones that this one's probably still wet but it's okay it's still wet from the glue but i think it's okay look how cute they are all right so now let me put some of this away let's put the triple thick away nope the scotch glue away all right so we said we were going to try using modge podge and triple thick and I do know at least the triple thick on it, it says to use a bristle brush. So I did bring in a bristle brush. So let's do, here's my bristle brush. Let's, I don't know, I don't know, Mod Podge, I think you can use a uh, foam brush. Let's see, what does it say? Apply with brush or sponge applicator. All right, so we can use we can use um, a sponge one with this. It's triple thick that says to use a bristle brush. All right, so we're gonna stir, 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 just a little bit, don't wanna get bubbles. All right, 
let's start with uh, this one. It's so funny, there's glitter everywhere. It's from the cards, but it's also, I've been doing some glitter crafts. And even though I have, hold on, I gotta get my fingers under. Even though I have vacuumed and wiped down and um, you know, brushed off, I'm still getting glitter in everything. All right, so this this is our first one, and this is our first coat, and it's very shiny, and I like the look of it. And I, I will seal the back. I don't know if we need to do the shiny on the back or if we just need to do the matte. Probably just the matte. But let's get this one done. All right. I'm going to let that dry. I'm going to put it over here. Now, let's see what it looks like if we put a coat of triple thick on this one and see if that, if we like the way that looks better. And, and of course, we're going to have to dry it, and we're going to have to give it sufficient time to dry. Oh, my poor brush is not very flexible anymore. Let's break it. So in addition to doing a lot of glitter stuff, of course, these Christmas cards all have glitter too. So I don't know where, I don't know if the glitter is coming from me or if it's the Christmas cards I don't know. but there's just a lot of glitter fortunately we're making projects that are okay if there's a little bit of stray glitter running around all right so I didn't do a really thick coat but I did not do a thin coat let's get the edges Alright, so let's let that dry. So we're going to let this, those two dry and we're going to see which one we like better. So we will come back and look at that. Let me stick that in the water. Alright, and so this one is this one. Alright, and we haven't done, uh, I kind of wanted that to dry before I did anything. So let's put it here so it's in the drying stack. And We'll be back and see which one we like better and where we want to go. Okie doke. So we have now put a coat of the matte Mod Podge on the back. And basically that's just to seal the wood. Any moisture from glasses or cups that will be on here um, does not usually do a good job with the uh, this, this, wood, this type of wood. It'll bubble up and everything. So we want to make sure everything's sealed. Besides, we put these cute little uh, sentiments on the back. And um, we don't want those to get messed up. All right. So now I'm taking the felt circles out of the um, felt pad pack. They don't have enough of the same size to do all four. And they do have an adhesive back, so I'm kind of um, sticking them on while the Mod Podge is still wet. I just think it'll give it another degree of stick. I'm having a heck of a time peeling this backing off. Can, I can't seem to catch it. Uh. My goodness, let's try a different one. Let's see what one of the bigger ones does. If you want the foot, the feet, the pads to all match, you can um, use the long strips like this and just cut them. That's an option as well. So, uh, all right, so what's if you really pull at it? 
then the feet just give your coasters a little height. It makes it soft against the piece of furniture. <laughs> this is like, oh my goodness. There we go. All right, so let me get all of the feet on and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you what the fronts look like. Okay, I'm back to show you. I figured a trick. If you take this Cricut tool, it's like the dental pick thing, and you jab it in there, it takes the paper off. Which, for those of us who are having trouble grasping it, it's wonderful. Is this my last one? Oh no, I have two more. Alright, and last one. Now we're going to turn them over and we're going to look. And I'm going to see, because I've kind of mixed them up now, which one's Mod Podge and which one. Oh, by the way, the, the width of these felt pads are all the same. So uh, if you use the bigger ones versus the smaller ones. Alright, so here's... One, and here's two, and here's three, and here's four. So, from my end, in my light, it's not... Uh, there's not that much difference. Um, I actually liked the way the Mod Podge went on. And this is one coat gloss finish, super gloss brilliant. I like the way it painted on better than the triple thick. But honestly, they both look about the same. Now, I know with triple thick, the directions tell you you can put multiple coats and you can get a thicker finish. Okay, I'm going to kind of tilt you a little bit so you can see. Look how cute they came out. All right, so that is our Christmas card coasters that we repurposed, complete with our names on the back, the sentiments of who sent it. So if you really want to keep a good um, record of something or, you know, there you go. All right. Came out cute. All right. Thanks for joining me, guys. I appreciate it. I appreciate you being here. Um, if you are a subscriber, thank you so much. If you are not a subscriber, and that is something that you would like to do. I please encourage, I encourage you please to hit that subscribe button. Um, I would really appreciate it. And regardless of if you are a subscriber or not, please, if you would give me a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. And any comments in the section, in the comments section, I would really like that too. All right, guys, I will see you on the next video. Bye.